Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'm talking you through how to achieve this Kendall Jenner acne coverage, Golden Globes inspired makeup look. So if you wanna find out how to get this look, just keep watching. Using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster, I'm just going to prep my skin and give it an extra boost of hydration before moving on to my favorite foundation of all time, the RCMA Foundation Palette. Using the back of a clean brush, I've just taken a small amount of a few different shades onto the back of my hand. And one little trick that I like to do to cover any areas of pigmentation or intense redness, or if you find that you have a big color a difference between your skin and your problem areas. I personally like to go in first of all with a darker shade, maybe not that much, that's a little bit too much. But I like to go in first of all with a darker, kind of sometimes grey or almost kind of um, like a dull tone first of all to try and neutralise. I'm personally not a fan of green concealers and I personally don't ever use them. Instead, I find this tactic looks so much more natural. When you've applied your cover or conceal product to all of your pigmented areas, then you wanna go in with a nice fluffy brush. Use an incredibly light hand for this stage to start blending and buffing those foundations out onto your skin. Now, if you don't have this palette, you can just use a normal set kind of concealer to do this as well. And you can really see how little product has made a big difference. After my initial round of blending, I like to then go in with a slightly larger, but still very small fluffy brush. And just again, take my time using an incredibly light hand to get everything blended out together. At this stage, all you're doing is covering and filling in the good parts of skin around the blemishes. I'm also going to use that same RCMA palette as a contour and also a little bit of a highlight as well. I guess that's one of the benefits of having so many different shades in one product that it just totally minimizes the amount of different products you have to use. The most important thing to remember when applying your makeup is to take your time, go lightly. You can always add more, but it's harder to take it away. To conceal my under eye area, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. And once again, I'm using a very, very small amount, and I'm just gonna blend that out using the same Real Techniques brush. To set that, I'm using my favorite powder, and this is the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. To contour my skin today, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm just trying to recreate that golden, bronzy, kind of heavily contoured Kardashian look that Kendall is wearing. So I'm just taking my time, building the color up gradually and slowly, and using two different shades to do that. I'm also going to take that same contour shade onto my eyes and use it as an eyeshadow palette. Today's look is all about multifunctional products, and if we don't have to add in another product and we can use something we're already using, then let's do it. Next up, brows, and today I'm going to be filling in my brows, of course, using the Benefit Brow Products. So first of all, I'm just going to go in with the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is in shade number three, and I'm going to use this to bulk out, thicken, fluff out, and basically give me the brows I have always wanted. <laughs> and to neaten up, I'm just going to go back in with a touch of the RCMA foundation. To set those brows, I'm using the Benefit Give Me Brow Brow Gel, and again, this is in shade number three. Let's move on to eyeliner, and today I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Ink Liner. Now, this is a product that I very, very rarely use, but I thought I would give another product to try today and step out of my comfort zone. And Kendall's look at the Golden Globes was kind of all about that winged liner and bronzy nude look. So this was a little bit scary, probably not the best time to try a new product, but it worked out in the end. And for mascara today, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, followed by the House of Lashes Pixie Lux Lashes. I think, I really think that's what these are. I don't know, I threw out the box. <laughs> Sorry guys. 
I'll leave the link below. Next, I'm moving on to the Cover FX Highlight Palette. And this is a new product. I think this was my first time using it. And yeah, you can definitely tell by the amount of that bronze I put on my skin. I definitely blended it out to make it work a little bit better. But yeah, trust me, you do not need that much of this product. For my lips today, I'm using the Buxom Cosmetics Lip Pencil. And I think this is in the shade Stealth. So first of all, I'm just going to outline and then fill in my lips using that product before moving straight on to the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss to just give me that kind of glossy, luscious red carpet lip. And this is the finished look. It is my Kendall Jenner Golden Globes Acne Coverage Makeup Look. So many words and so little makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and I hope you liked the look. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.